Hello students, I welcome you in a new video. In today's video, we will discuss the synthesis and we will discuss the hydrolysis of the acetyl compound. Acetyl compound is obtained from the hemiacetyl and hemiacetyl you know very well that glucose, pyranose, fructose and all different type of monosaccharides usually exist in a uh, hemiacetyl form. So let's see what is the uh, steps and what is the reaction. Uh, this is the reaction you can see here. I'm just writing glucose in a six member form and glucose in a chair form. Uh, you can see him. So, the name of this compound is D glucopyranose. And you can see him. I'm writing this bond as this arrow. This indicates that this bond can be this bond can be alpha or this bond can be beta. So, anomeric configuration can be alpha or anomeric configuration can be beta. So, when we treat our glucose with alcohol in presence of a trace of acid we observe the synthesis of a compound which is known as acetyl. Acetyl contain OR and hemiacetyl contain OH. This is the main difference between hemiacetyl and acetyl. You can see here uh, when alcohol in presence of acid is treated with hemiacetyl only oh I'm sorry I, uh, I just forgot to introduce the oxygen I'm just sorry for that. Ha ah, yes now, so we, we can see here when alcohol is treated with H positive, uh, in, you treat it with acid, only anomeric H is affected. You can note this down very clearly. When alcohol is treated with H positive, only anomeric H is affected, not any other H, which is not any other OH is affected by presence of acid. They remain intact. Only anomeric OH is affected. I will explain the reason why it is so in a later section, but before that, just see here what is the change in presence of acid and alcohol. So this is the mechanism of uh, acetyl formation. You can see here. Uh, this is you can see quite complex. It is appearing to be very quite complex uh, structures, but they are actually very simple structures. You can see here systematically. Uh, this is D-glucose. I am just writing D-glucose in a, any alpha form or can in, it can exist in a beta form. In presence of acid, it react with this and we observe the removal of water. So this attack on this and we observe removal of water from here. So after removal of water from here we get formation of carbocation and you can see here carbocation is close to your oxygen and oxygen contain two pair of electron. You can see here oxygen contain two pairs of electron. So this two pair of electron can be delocalized on this positive charge. So we may get this structure after delocalization of a oxygen positive, oxygen uh, lone pair of electron. So next structure is the formation of uh, this positive charge on oxygen. Uh, we get this. So uh, these two are in uh, these two are uh, possible due to the delocalization of electron. We can see here this possible due to the delocalization of electron here. So now after uh, this uh, this carbocation which is formed can be attacked by alcohol molecule. You can see that we are having, having this alcohol molecule. So this alcohol molecule can attack this carbocation from the above side or can attack this carbocation from the lower side. Suppose if it attack from the above side, so we will have O R O H H on the lower side. Suppose if attack from the lower side, so we will have H R O H O H occupying the lower side, OH occupying the above side. You can see here, when it attacks from the above side, it occupies the above side. When it attacks the lower side, alcohol molecule occupies the lower side. So we observe the formation of a, observe the formation of a ROH. From here, we, we get this uh, the ROH. So from here, this H can be removed. This H can be removed. So in the next step, H is removed from this and we get the formation of OR, we get the formation of OR. This OR is this OR is beta form, and this OR glycoside is alpha form. So this is how uh, the acetals are formed from the hemiacetal structure. Uh, you can see here this very clearly. Uh, this uh, OH uh, protonation to observe uh, deep uh, dehydration step. We get this carbocation, carbocation delocalization with the lone pair of electron. So one important point you can note here is that only this uh, OH is affected because only this OH will give you carbocation and only this carbocation can be delocalized by this lone pair of electron. So if carbocation formation is observed here, no delocalization with this oxygen will be possible. So hence uh, only this OH are deprotected. You should note this down. 
this only anomeric OH is deprotected because they have a tendency to undergo delocalization with the lone pair of electron of oxygen. No other OH can show you this, such type of delocalization reaction. So we observe this in a resonating structure. So after this, uh, this carbocation can be attacked by alcohol from the lower side and from the above side. So we get this ROH and we get ROH in the occupying lower side. Removal of H positive to get RO, removal of H positive to get OR. Removal of R positive, uh, removal of this H positive to get OR. So this is what we get. This we started with, with hemiacetyl and now we're getting acetyl. So acetyl can be beta and acetyl can be alpha. Alpha acetyl can be alpha and acetyl can be beta. So this is the mechanism of the uh, hemiacetyl to the acetyl formation. So after the formation of acetyl, it must be clear to all of us that acetyls, all acetyls are acid labile means they are not stable in acidic solution they are stable in basic solution they are stable in a neutral solution but all acetals are acid labile they are unstable in acidic solution and when you add acid to the acetal solution they revert back to the formation of hemiacetyl so you can see here if i consider this structure this is the glucose existing in a pyranose form so this is glucose acetyl structure or so you can see here whenever we add acid to the acetyl acetyl revert back to their oh form which is called the hemiacetyl form so you should uh, you should take this you should take note of this very this is a very important point so now after the formation of uh, acetyl how acetyl behave in acid solution let's see acetyl this is acetyl acetyl containing or when i treat this with h positive i treat this with any acid this H positive will attack on OR and will give us ORH. This ORH then easily cleave with bond to give us OH, uh, to give us this H positive. This H positive is the carbocation formed. This carbocation can show us delocalization with lone pair of electron available on oxygen to show us this type of structure this is also possible now this structure uh, you can see uh, again uh, the carbocation showing as positive charge this carbocation can show the attack of, of water from the above side or from the lower side when attack of water occurs from the above side we observe the formation of OH lying on the above side when a water attack occur from the lower side we observe the formation of OH lying in the lower side so you can see here from acetal again in treatment of acid we're getting mixture of a both we're getting a mixture of a beta and mixture of alpha uh, hemiacetal form so you should note that this that the conversion of hemiacetal to acetal always give us the mixture of alpha and beta and similarly conversion of acetal to the hemiacetal always give us the mixture of alpha and beta so this is the complete mechanism of the acetal to hemiacetal and hemiacetal to the acetal formation so one point important point you should note uh, I, you should note that important point is that only anomeric group is affected because only when anomeric group is affected is remove it bond to give us a carbocation and carbocation can show us delocalization with the oxygen no other OH is affected because if uh, if that OH is affected, a uh, carbocation which will be formed, uh, which will will not be will not be showing us a delocalization or stabilization with the anomeric uh, stabilization with the oxygen atom. It therefore only anomeric groups are affected in this process. So this is the complete process of the uh, hemiacetal to acetal and acetal to hemiacetal conversion. So the formation of acetal always catalyzed by acid. Formation of hemiacetal always catalyzed by acid. This two important points should be kept in mind very clearly. So with this, I am sure that these two concepts must be clear to all of you. And with this, I say thanks to all of you. Thank you.